Man, I really gotta stop starting videos this way. I can't even blame the camera this time. I left my camera in manual focus mode for about half of the video, so I apologize for the somewhat out of focus footage in the beginning. Amateur. Welcome back to Full Throttle RC. I made a few changes to the no prep car, so it's time to see what it can do again. All of this social distancing stuff makes it really easy for me to get out here with nobody around. So I got everything set up. Let's go through the changes I made first. I did a lot of off camera testing and noticed that the current draw when launching was, was dropping pretty heavily. I went ahead and installed the Castle Cat Pack. This eliminates most of the ripple current and gives the motor more consistent amperage. I made a couple passes after I did that and was really happy with the launches but my temps were way too high. I changed up the gearing a little bit. I didn't have anything smaller than a 27 tooth pinion, so I went up on the spur gear to an 81 or 82 tooth from the 72 that I had. That dropped the temps down a good bit, so now I'm ready to see what kind of times I'm gonna run. I'm running the Corvette body again today. You'll see why in a little while. It launches a whole lot harder now, so I don't really wanna mess up that Nova body. If I end up crashing with this body, I'm not as worried about it as the freshly painted Nova body. So we actually got a little bit sun today, so let's see what it can do. I'm sure you saw a whole lot of pedaling there and I was still able to hit 41 miles an hour. Let's try again. I was very happy with that task. Mile an hour wasn't what I expected, but ET is a lot better than I expected. Someone suggested I try doing the burnouts on a piece of carpet to save on the tires. It's kind of awkward to do, but it's actually working. Tires get nice and warm and I'm not wearing down the tires on the concrete. In 66 feet, I can't really complain about 44 miles an hour. I'm really happy with the way it's launching. I gotta drive it a little bit, but that's part of the challenge and the fun. I'm having a little trouble getting the GoPro to work, so I apologize if this is the only camera angle you get in this video. So it looks like I'm consistently running anywhere from 40 to 45 miles an hour. I had that 1.69 ET and it's been living around the 1.75 to about 1.79 like you see here range. I know that speed's a little slower than the 50 mile an hour I got last time I came out here, but you gotta remember, I changed up the gearing so that it would cool the car down a little bit. So I sacrificed a little bit of top speed, but gained a little acceleration and my temperatures are staying lower now so I can run the car for longer. I'm gonna make a couple more passes and see if I could dip down into that 160 range again. So those beeps you were hearing, according to the castle manual, is an overpower warning. Basically my fears are correct, I guess. ESC is underpowered for this three and a half turn motor. It can't produce what it wants. I tried gearing down already, I tried putting the cap back on it. I'm probably gonna have to get a new ESC. It's no big deal though, I've been looking at a couple others. I actually just noticed that I had the manual focus set on my camera this entire time, so you might not have been able to see much. It might have been blurry for you the whole entire time. But anyway, this ESC will not go to waste. You might have seen my new drag bill by now, the front engine dragster. I'll use this ESC along with the motor that originally was in this car, in that car, 
I'll be able to run that on 3S if I really want to. It doesn't fit the Street Eliminator rules anyway, so I can run what I want in it basically. Just a fun build. I'm gonna let the ESC cool off and change out the batteries and hopefully get you some better footage than the out of focus stuff that I had before. While the car was cooling off, I went ahead and looked at some of the footage and it doesn't look too bad, so hopefully I'll be able to use it, but let's try to get a couple more clips anyway. Seems like the car is pretty consistent in the mid to upper 170s and anywhere from 40 to 45 miles an hour. I think I'm spinning a little more than I want off the line with this new battery in. While editing this video, I could clearly hear it's the slipper clutch slipping and not that the car is spinning. It's actually hooking pretty well. Just wanted to clear that up before you head down to the comments to tell me it's the slipper. This battery normally doesn't last me but maybe 15, 20 passes anyway. Knock them out real quick and we'll move on. Kind of happy I had that pass in 120 frames per second. That should be fun to look at in slow mo. I know you probably couldn't see it down there. My camera only zoomed so far, but I almost jumped the finish line there. It was a really close call. I know it's not the best thing to do, but driving the car when it gets out the groove and all squarely is probably one of the funnest things I've done. So that's gonna be it for today. Once again, I apologize if that original footage in the beginning there was out of focus. Hopefully this video is still good enough for me to be able to upload it. I'm gonna look into a new ESC. I looked at a couple of options. I think I know what I want, but I need to do a little bit more research first. I talked about the front engine dragster I'm building. I was planning on having an update for it this week, but I ran into a couple of problems. I need to get some material and with all of this shutdown of everything going on right now, it's kind of hard to get material. Fingers crossed I get it in pretty quick and I can put the front together. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've had a blast tuning and working on this car over the past couple of months and it's really where I like it, but you know, we gotta fix a couple of things. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.